One of the policy goals of the Greater Bay Area Development is to push um, for the Smart City initiatives. Mm -hmm. And I've heard uh, analysts and policymakers, they told me that they were worried about the protection of data privacy and intellectual property. Which brings us mm -hmm. to my last question. Mm -hmm. Is there any plan in the making to revive the copyright amendment bill um, in order to regulate um, better in these areas? First and foremost, uh, the nation, our country, is in fact one that is uh, most eager to push for more intellectual property protection and development for a very simple reason. Because well, China has in fact surpassed any other country in the world in terms of number of patent or design uh, uh, or copyright application globally. There are, every day there are more sort of a uh, self-developed uh, uh, innovation uh, uh, or idea or design that require this IP protection. And that's exactly why um, the nation has also attached great importance to this area both by strengthening their own law and also contributing, taking part in the global effort. Now, Hong Kong is in fact well placed to do more because, well, we are in fact uh, one area that pride ourselves in protecting intellectual property by our own laws. But there, we are also having some catch up to do. Take for instance, uh, uh, original grant Clayton is something very new. Throughout the past few decades, we are only doing re-registration of Platon. We we are in fact catching up for Hong Kong to have our own sort of a, uh, a Platon uh, development. Now that that is an area that we are able to capture, not just the national development, but also Hong Kong being uh, a place of origin for the, all these ideas because we are also sort of moving towards um, uh, more innovation uh, and, and and technology base and where. IP protection is so important. And to the extent that well, IP trading could take advantage of Hong Kong as a good marketplace. In the process, we also need to catch up with other legislation. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the copyright uh, uh, legislation caught with a lot of pro uh, political debate. Mm -hmm. Some were legitimate, some are quite unnecessary. But if you ask people in the sector, I remember back in uh, 2017 when I first started my job, one of my early meetings was in fact meeting people in the trade, uh, both local and also foreign interests in Hong Kong. They were at that time quite fed up with the repeated failure of Hong Kong not able to update our copyright law because of the hurdle or the, the problems we have had on more than two occasions in our electrical. Now, if we were to move forward, uh, as a uh, IP trading center, if we are to support and also leverage on this development, modernization, updating of the legislation is of course necessary. But of course, I think like any other legislation, they must go through certain consultations, uh, particularly with people in the trade, and balancing against other uh, consideration. But we we believe we have the strength and also the need to do so. As hypothetically, if the government press ahead with the legis any legislative measures on uh, protecting or strengthening the protection of copyright and intellectual property. What would that legislation look like? For example, will the government you know, be ready to provide um, legal responsibility, a full exemption of legal responsibility for certain derivative work? I think, well, let's go into the details when uh, time is right for taking forth the proposal. We have had certain proposals in the past which gone through extensive debate, discussion, if not dispute. Uh, we are not reinventing the view. There are sort of um, other uh, jurisdictions, legislation that we can uh, make reference to. And we'll certainly also look, look back on where we failed or where we failed to achieve consensus and sort of uh, start from there. I believe well, there naturally would be a process of discussion and consultation to come.